it is Hurt Me Ian here in Beijing and I'm here at the Beijing Railway train station because I'm heading out to Chengdu, sun in my eyes, so it's a beautiful morning. I'm heading out to Chengdu and then I'm on to Chongqing, so stick with me if you want to share that journey and see what it's like to travel inside China. I am going a little bit large, I think I said in a previous video, I'm going business class, so again, there is economy, then there's first class, and then there's business class. So I'm going the full hog. I'll share with you how much it costs me in, in comparison to maybe flying this journey and the length of time. So there's some stuff I'm going to share with you. If you really want to see this first class, no, business class train journey, then follow for the next five, seven minutes or so. And then if you want to see what Chengdu and Chongqing are like, then stay tuned to my channel, sharing China with you as I travel through, finally, other parts of China. Carriage 16, it's that bit of a walk. I'll get there though.
first class, which is the middle class, it would probably have cost about £150 travelling all the way from Beijing to Chengdu. Um, I'm going business class, which is the top class, and so it's costing me about £300. Flying, um, oh, I'm going through a tunnel. Flying, it would have cost me roughly about £120-£130. Flying, um, I still have to get to the airport and all that jazz. Don't always like that. And if I was to go and fly first class, then again, it would have cost me roughly the same amount of pay now for this journey. Hopefully, you can hear me. I wasn't expecting to go through a tunnel. Um, so far, I've been on the train since 10 past 9 this morning, and um, uh, it's about 2 o'clock. It's went quite quick. I did a little bit of a doze, quite noisy. Hopefully, you can hear this. Um, had a little bit of a doze, then woke up and then messed around with a video that last night we did last night from uh, eating a lot of tunnels, man. Eating out last night, we're going to go somewhere um, to eat, and then we decided to. Um, just stay local, eat Chinese, eat some food that we knew that we could trust because sometimes I'm travelling this distance so I just want to play it safe and mm -hmm. cautious. Anyway, this is the train journey, bullet train, although I think it's a high speed rail, so it's a little bit slower, it's going about 300 kilometres an hour and has a lot of high speed rail here in China, which is, I've got to say, impressive if you see it. Anyway, that's the trip so far, maybe check it out again. More tunnels. All good. It's 420. I've been here for uh, quite a long time now. Still tired. They've given some food uh, and drinks and stuff, but. It's all good. The, the the other option you've got is being able to scan the barcode and then order some uh, food which gets delivered at the next stop and then you can get that. So it's all good fun. Um, but it's still on time. <laughs> the hotel the taxi cost me about three pounds 80 I was in the taxi for roughly 35 to 40 minutes it's only about five miles away from the train station but there was a traffic jam got here got to the hotel I will share this hotel with you in another video but this a Japanese toilet <laughs>